Hello everybody, this is Brooke aka Supernatural Summer 34 and today we are back at it with another create a sim. Today's sim is going to be friends with Miss Marilyn, my new sim for the Not So Berry Challenge. If you di don't know, I decided to start over with this challenge. It's something I've been toying around with since the first episode of Plum Gen from the last attempt because I thought more people might watch it if they got to see everything. But I was so in love with and attached to that family that I threw the idea away. Now my attachment has kind of faded, and I realize that it's probably for the best. But today's story happened when I was in second grade. In second grade, I had this teacher, we'll call her Mrs. Wilson. But Mrs. Wilson had little drawers on top of every desk with scissors and glue and pencils and all that, because she trusted that an eight-year-old would be responsible with this stuff. Also, in this story, I had an accomplice. His name was Evan, and Evan thought it would be a wonderful idea to cut our hair. Evan had pretty short hair, though, so it was easy to hide and not very noticeable. However, I had pretty long hairs, and I grabbed a lock from directly behind my ear and snipped the whole thing off. Now, that wouldn't have been noticeable, but instead of hiding the hair or scattering it or throwing it away, I decided I was just going to drop it on the ground by my seat. We went into silent reading time without a problem, so I thought I had gotten away with it until Mrs. Wilson approached me with the lock of hair in her hand. She asked if it was mine, and I said that no, it wasn't. She asked me to lift my hair, and I did so, and she could very clearly see that there was a decently large chunk missing. She said that it looks like I did cut my hair, and then I lied to her about it. But Little Brooke didn't want to get into trouble. No, Little Brooke was a good student, so I said that my hairdresser had messed up when cutting my hair. Mrs. Wilson entertained the thought by asking whose hair she had found on the ground then and I said that it was Evan's. Now, Evan's hair barely reached his ears, and mine was halfway down my back. It didn't make sense, but it was the best I could come up with as a second grader. But Mrs. Wilson didn't believe me, so she called my mom, and I bawled my eyes out. When I got home that night, my mom made me write lines saying I wouldn't cut my hair. She also made me write a letter to my hairdresser apologizing for saying that she messed up on my hair, which my mom actually never delivered. This next story is about recess. My school had two of these, one after lunch and then one in the afternoon. I would always play tag during my lunch recess, but during that afternoon recess I would play soccer. Now when I first started playing soccer, there were a few girls that played as well. But soon enough I was the only girl and I was also really bad at it, so I didn't get picked first or second or even second to last. I was always picked dead last. When I first started playing soccer, I used to be someone who kicked the ball across the field rather than a defender or someone near the other team's goal. It soon became abundantly clear, though, that my asthma wasn't cut out for that. So I was moved to my team's defense, and that was really boring because I was usually on the better team somehow, so the ball never came near me. Eventually, the recess supervisor who was refing decided to make a new rule to make me feel more included and to try and get me the ball more often. This new rule is that when a girl scores, it's worth two points. Notice that she said a girl instead of Brooke, even though I was the only girl. She was trying to save me from humiliation. She failed. And guess what? I was still picked dead last. However, now I got to be on the other team's side where the ball usually was. I remember getting the ball a lot more often then, but still never scoring. Why, you might ask? Well, other than my complete lack of skill, it was because the boys playing soccer hated me. I would be so ready to score a goal, but so then someone from my own team would swipe the ball away from my the path of my foot. And when I was trying to get the ball, because if you don't know, elementary school boys are a bunch of ball hogs, when I was trying to get the ball, boys would trip me. I couldn't count on two hands the amount of times I ended up face first in mud because of this. There was one boy in particular who was really bad. I'm not one to say I was bullied, because I don't think I was, but he was the closest I ever had to a bully. His name was Isaac. Now, Isaac was really sporty and really tall and really obnoxious, and we rode the same bus. Now, I used to sit in the back of the bus, not because it's where the cool kids sat or whatever, but because if the bus driver went over a bump, the back felt it the most, and I found that really fun. So the back of the bus had one seat that could only fit two people, and my sister and I were sitting there. 
Isaac comes back and tells us to move, and using the only bit of nerve I've ever had in my life, I said no. He got annoyed and went to grab my arm to make me move, but Isaac's brother, whose name I cannot remember for the life of me, told Isaac to stop. Now, I was in like second grade at the time, and so was Isaac, and I'm pretty sure Isaac's brother was in middle school, so obviously Isaac had to listen to him. And for the most part, Isaac left me alone after that, but only on the bus. Now, my sister recently started talking to Isaac, and she mentioned me. And apparently, he forgot how rude he was to me, and said that I was always a little dorky. But she says he's nicer now, and one of my sister's friends is really close to him, and I think she's a good judge of character, so I've been working on not hating him. It's really weird how the people who do the hurting never remember it, though. It's always the people getting hurt who remember. But we are coming up on the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you all tomorrow.